In this video, we're going to go over Google Forms and how we're able to make Google Forms into a quiz and why we might want to use that and do that in our classroom. So the primary reason is it's easy and it marks itself. So you're able to set a quiz up and then the students are able to receive their mark and feedback instantaneously. So it saves you having to mark the work as well as it provides your students feedback in the moment right after they're completing their work, which is always great. So we're gonna go over some of the features of it and how to set it up. So I have an example here, but as you can see, I haven't finished. You'll see that I have a total of 11 assigned points up here. And what we're gonna do is once you've started a form, you're always able to go up and into your settings and you're able to go and make it a quiz. So we're gonna run through a couple of different things while we're in here. So you're, once you make it a quiz, you're able to go down and you're able to go to responses and you're able to send the response responders a copy of the response. You're allowed to have editing, which you may or may not want to have on, depending on how you want to have your quiz set up. You can restrict it to only members of your organization and you can limit it to one response because you do not want students to log in start it, start a new one, and that kind of thing. So those are some settings that you're gonna to wanna to take a look at before you create your quiz and send it out to your students. So now we're gonna go back and we're gonna go into our questions. So to be able to create your questions, it's very similar to what you're gonna do with your basic Google form. So let's create a new question and we have one here. So once you click on the question, you have your options over here, multiple choice, check boxes, short answer. And I'm just gonna make this one a multiple choice. And I'm going to ask the class, what was the author's name? And I'm gonna give a couple of options. I'm gonna put James, Peter, Marilyn. And I'm just going to leave it for that like that for now. And you're going to see that right here you have, I'm just going to hide that, you have your answer key. Once you click your answer key, it's going to ask you how many points you want to assign to this. So this one's a pretty basic question. So we're going to go with two points and we're going to select the right answer. So we're going to say that Marilyn was the author. And maybe when we want to give some feedback for incorrect answers, maybe we want to say good try. And for the correct answers, we want to say great job. And you can have this set up or you can not have it set up completely up to you. You can leave it blank. And then you're going to want to go and add a new question. So you can set your next question. And you'll see at the top, we're now out of 13 points. And what's really nice is once you send this to people, your students, you're able to go up and under responses and you can no longer accept responses after they've completed it. And you can also create a spreadsheet and the spreadsheet's gonna give you the quiz marks, how they responded. So that's some great data all in one place. So now as a refresher, if you want to be able to send this to your students, you're gonna to wanna to come up here into send if you're collaborating with another teacher, this is where you would add the, that teacher you're collaborating with. So you can send it to your students, to their emails, or my favorite, you can just go and grab the link and then paste that in your Google Classroom, classroom or send that in an email. You would just copy it and put it in there. So I hope this helps with creating a quiz and I hope that you try it out. And if you do, let me know how it goes. Thanks.